came to the USA just over five years ago now to visit, one thing struck me quite quickly about this network and the fact that it uses the term commuter rail because that's something in Britain you don't really hear a great deal of and it makes you think well is it literally just for commuters is that all it's there for and the more I looked into it the more I learned actually yes it's pretty much all the people do so, to come here and... It doesn't quiet. Hang on. Okay, you'll have to forgive me for the noise just then. But this is the reason why there is such a cacophony right now. We have got Fairgate. Cut. Quick, thank you. Quick. So basically this. I'll, I'll see you on the train. Anyway, yeah, sorry about that. A whole lot of stuff going on right now in North Station, but it's all progress, all good to see, so I'm more than happy with the noise, just for a little bit of time. Where was I? The whole nature of commuter rail, and it not being a thing in Britain, and surprising me here to, to being all that trains seem to be for most people in Massachusetts. And the dawn of the pandemic, and changing people's travel habits, has, to me, lent itself a wonderful opportunity to highlight and showcase just what is wonderful about this network, and not just Boston. So, that's why I'm on this train today, going out of North Station and heading to Manchester by the Sea. So I'll see you there. See, one of the great things as well about taking the train places is, you can't do this when you're driving, you can't play Scrabble when you're driving, you can't just enjoy a bag of Walker's salt and vinegar crisps while you're driving. And it makes trips like this so worth it to be able to go and venture out from Boston go in the opposite direction to what people may in the past have done rather ordinarily and all this just on the way to the beach and on the train sitting back relaxing it's not to love well my letters aren't that great but that aside it's great, really good Okay, well the bad news is I lost the game of Scrabble, but my wife's a really good player. Good news, we're at Manchester. Look, we're at Manchester now. Let's go and explore. So, on the way to Singing Beach we go. Singing Beach being amongst the most picturesque of beaches in all of Massachusetts and all of New England. And of course, Manchester by the Sea is the place where, understandably, most of the film, Manchester by the Sea, uh, starring Casey Affleck, was filmed back in 2015 and released in 2016. This is, uh, so far, a very scenic, picturesque walk. Lots of flowers everywhere, quiet, going through mostly residential areas, so don't want to feel too intrusive, honestly, with, uh, with getting the camera out like this, but it's just such a lovely day for it. It's not too warm, it could be, could be good if the sun was out, but can't have it all. Um, walk to the beach from the station is 15 minutes or thereabouts, so not not too long in the grand scheme of things. But I'll uh, I'll catch you up when we get there. Right here is a very good explanation as to what it's like for those who don't live in Manchester or thereabouts. This is a parking lot dedicated to the beach and we're right by it behind this sign above this sign where you see that building right there where you see that truck coming out now the beach is right behind it so we are extremely close but 
don't think in season that you can just drive here as a non-resident because you need a permit you need to live here if you want to drive here which is another benefit of coming by the train however be aware that there is a parking not a parking charge an actual attendance charge to the beach from what I saw from May the 1st onwards so coinciding with where the resident beach sticker parking is applicable if you actually want to come to this beach in season so May 1st onwards be prepared to bring your dollars but for now coming on foot out of season continuing down here and we turn the corner and you see water time for the beach not that it's a great day for it but who cares it's the beach Proven right about this place. It is stunning. And I appreciate that it's start of May, not exactly tourist season, but it's just a joy to come to a place like this and to come to somewhere that is well under an hour away by train from the centre of Boston. To have something like this so close, how can you turn it down? How can you possibly turn something down quite this tranquil, quite this picturesque? That's why I love Massachusetts. That's why I love going places by train. Speak to itself. Well, most of the way back to the station now, and we've stopped off here in Masconomo Park. Right outside, a place called Captain Dusty's Ice Cream. And those of you who know me might know that I am an absolute sucker for strawberry ice cream in particular. I got myself a medium from Captain Dusty's. I'll show you a picture in a moment. And this is amongst the best strawberry ice cream I have had in my life. I cannot rate this place highly enough. Good value ice cream for a really, really sizable portion and I might consider a pizza before we get back on the train. But I'm gonna be full with this. This is just absolutely delightful, and it sums up just how lovely a town Manchester is. I cannot wait to come back. Me again. Pardon me for going so abruptly before. Um, we had a little bit of a tight connection to the train. What is a connection? We didn't have to go too far for it, because may I please present Bravo by the Sea Pizza. Not a sponsor, nothing like that. But this is quite literally over the road from Manchester by the Sea Station. And if you need a quick bite to eat, then this is quick, this is tasty, this is fantastic. And I've, I, I'm not speaking really highly about the food that I found in Manchester, but seriously, there's this. And if you want to go a couple of stops further on, there's also a branch of Bravo in Gloucester from what I've looked at. So if you fancy pizza and a bit of time by the beach, this is your one. Not Chelsea though, this is Chelsea. This stop is Got Chelsea. I recommend it. Just like that, we are back at North Station. Now, just waiting along for the 3.30 with Juicer service. Heading on back out to Fitchburg. But that's gonna be far from the last trip I take out on these trains to get somewhere that's not Boston. Because whatever I can do to highlight what this wonderful network is, I'm doing it. So, join me next time, and I'll see you on the train. Take care. Little tin room 495 is next.